Welcome to Business Forward. I'm Kaylin Risvold, President and CEO of the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce. And today we're learning about protecting your home and your businesses against burglary. We're here with crime prevention specialist, Jim Pacetti of the Naperville Police Department. And let's dive right in. What are some tips to prevent your home and your business from being burglarized? A simple one is our 9 p.m. routine. Uh, every night before you go to bed, get into a habit, make sure your no valuables are left in your cars if they're parked outside, make sure your car door is locked, make sure your garage door is shut and locked and all exterior doors are shut and then turn some outside lights on. And you can either have them on all night because having lights on outside deters crime a lot of times or if you want to have motion sensors so the lights would only go on when they detect some type of motion outside. Do you think the light is really a big deterrent? Yes. Uh, a lot of criminals do not like lights. Even when you're out shopping in the businesses, we encourage people, park near a light in the well-lit areas. So as you're looking through lights and things might be well-lit, that could help cameras. How are the residential and the cameras and businesses, are they really helpful? They are helpful, especially to our investigators. We actually have a program with, with Ring has a neighborhood app that we can make a request. Anyone that lives in a certain area to go review their film or footage to see if they have caught anything because of an incident that happened, they could submit it to us. But then for people who just have camera systems, a lot of businesses, we have a camera registration program that works similar that when you submit your information, we could bring up a map and say this area that we could send requests out to those camera owners say, on this date and time, please review your footage, see if you caught anything and ask for them to send that to us. Have you found that to be successful? Yes, there have been some cases that they did get some footage or got a car description because maybe they parked on the block, but then we can match up the car going on the block at a similar time frame, and we can go off it that way. What are other tips outside of lights and locking that can really help protect our businesses as we want to make sure that our valuables are taken care of? Again, making sure things locked up, anything real value, don't leave it out on display. Lock it up for the night. You know, put it in a secured area. Make it a challenge for people to get into. We don't want to make it easy. Uh, we don't want to leave like our purse sitting in the front seat of the car when we're inside the gym working out. It's real easy to have someone come up, break the window, and steal it. So it's almost like a crime of opportunity. We want to make it difficult for criminals. Uh, having good locks on our doors, having deadbolts on the doors are all going to help deter. If we can make it difficult for them, it's going to make it hard. They want to get in quick, in and out. If they got to spend a lot of time, they're not going to want to go in there. And what happens if you were to confront somebody who's trying to take items or valuables from your home or business? Either we don't encourage anyone to go up and confront. If you see someone, get out of there, avoid them, be a great witness. Get a description of what they're wearing, what they look like, anything you could tell us about them, which if they take off running, which way are they going, any vehicles, anything at all like that, and call the police right away. Ideally, is what we like for you to do. If you are threatened, you feel your life is in danger, you do have a right to defend yourself. And Naperville has a new text 911 program as yes. well, is that correct? Yeah, that started last year, text 911. It's a great feature, especially the younger ones, that's all they do is text nowadays. But the limitation is you have to make sure you f type out all the information. In a stressful situation, it can be difficult. Uh, trying to text, you have to do your full address, typing out a full description. We don't want emojis. You have to give all that information out. But if you are in a situation where you're afraid to make any noise, yes, you can text the 911 in Naperville. And when you call 911, what's the most important thing that you can say on the phone right away? Your location. Get your location out right away because Regardless after that, we know where you are. So getting us your location and then what your emergency is, and then we can go from there. But location is a big thing because even if we lose connection, we know where you're at. And speaking of being where you're at, you do a great job going around our community and educating them on ways that they can work on crime prevention. What type of businesses do you work with and how do people get in touch with you to learn more tips? We've done stuff at churches, we've done it at retail businesses, we've been at doctor's office, uh, large office buildings. Uh, we can touch on anything from active shooter to SEPTED, which is crime prevention through environmental design. Uh, the way you have light, things laid out, lighting, access in and out of your building. 
so we can help you go through those things. Uh, you can go to the City of Naperville website, uh, naperville.il.us, and you could type in crime prevention information, safer neighbor, request a visit from an officer or a presentation, and then fill out a form from there, and we'd set that up. That's a great um, point. Environmental crime prevention? Crime prevention through environmental design, such as your trees, your tall trees should be trimmed up to at least six feet so we can see underneath them. Your lower bushes shouldn't be higher than two feet to limit people from being able to hide behind them. So you have that clear view. If you're in a business, you can see your parking lot. If you have trees there, you can't see what's going on. Well, thank you for the tips and for sharing those with us today. And you can find more on the website, nctv17.org.